Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Battle Brothers. This is the Early Access Season 1 for me, anyway. Uh, it's still pre-Early Access, actually. Like, only YouTubers and people showcasing the game have the hands-on experience that we come to know and love. And we're getting to enjoy uh, a little bit of the game before everybody in the world can go pick it up. It releases on the 27th of April, folks. It's getting pretty close. Make sure you guys have your cash money's ready to get behind this developer because, well, they deserve it. This game's awesome, totally amazing, and I'm super stoked to continue playing it. So, what are we on? We are in episode 9, and we're going to do battle with the Frenzied Axe's Den. So let's get in there and crush some orc fools. All right. So the key is we're probably going to be able to crush them, but overconfidence will be a big problem. So in order to prevent overconfidence, we're going to just back up like we normally do. And we're going to hope for the very best. Because I find that if I get overconfident when I play on my own, if I get overconfident, bad things generally happen. So, I would do everything in my ability, everything within my power, to not overcompensate. No, not to over... Why do I feel like I have more spearmen than I should? I don't. Okay. I'm losing my mind, guys. It's totally fine. It's absolutely fine. All right, we're going to fall back with most of our individuals. Anyhow, I find that when I play on my own, if I do things where I feel like I'm super ahead and I just charge forward, I usually pay for it. So this is definitely a game that you can fall into that trap, and you want to try to avoid doing that at all costs. Because it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone, in fact. If you want your Battle Brothers to live, which I do, I want my Battle Brothers to live until the point where I'm like, hey, you know what, you guys are actually kind of weak sauce, you're level 10, but I need to start thinking of the long haul and I need to get people that are a little bit more skilled than you are so yeah you're all fired and then I'm sure a lot of people will be like why why did you fire me because I got Sir G Gunther the untouchable and he's like got starting stats of 80 skill or uh, 80 melee skill and 60 uh, melee defense and I'd rather have him that's why okay that's right bow to me bow to my awesome ingenuity I don't, I don't know about ingenuity all right, it looks like two of them have shields, and for whatever reason, we don't have a super line of sight. I imagine it has to do with the low ground, high ground advantage, and just being on flat plane. Eh, it is what it is. It's okay, we can wait it out, and it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. And on top of that, we can also do our, sh our spear wall right now, not our shield wall, our spear wall. It looks like the fight's going to happen up here, so we'll get Kippy Kips into position for that. And we will be prepared, we will be ready, and we will be, well, hopefully able to handle all of this. We'll see. We shall see. I hope they, I was hoping they would just come straight at us, but nope. They seem to be wanting to go up and around. I guess they want the high ground advantage up there. I don't know. Which to me means I need to get all of my auxiliary people, my backline individuals, ready for that eventual reality. And I guess we can spear wall it up for now. And finally, the last to spear wall is ready, and let's see what happens. So they're kind of going up, but they're kind of also charging forward. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen exactly. I'm going to wait it out. Pulse in the dev, ready to chop people in half. Pretty impressive skill, I might add. Pretty impressive skill. All right, and our archer should be able to do probably get at least one kill. I can't uh, I can't fathom that they won't be able to kill at least one person. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, and one more hit. Nope. Okay, just gonna end the turn. Gonna end the turn. End the turn. Archery. Okay, well, we didn't actually hit anyone there. That's a little bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually quite sad. Alright, we're gonna wait... We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to attempt a shot again. There it is. And the kill. All right. We're down to five orcs instead of six. We have our big two-handed individual ready to go up here. Darren the Grim Blade's like, bring it on. Which is good. 74% and you missed, Odie. Shame on you. Got the second shot in there. That is okay. And the orcs make their move. Let's see if our spear wall can hold. And so far, so good. So far, so good again. What else? Oh, this guy's from the... Oh, and he's already retreating. That has got to be unfortunate for him. I think we're going to start swooping around to get to the backside of individuals at this point. It's still risky, but our line is definitely not going to do much work. 
it's all going to be fought up here, so there's really no point. Going for the shot up on the guy up on the high ground there, a little bit of damage. And he is definitely swooping around trying to get into a position to actually do something. So at this point, I'm going to try to hold the line with him. And I don't want to move out with this guy yet, so we're going to actually do that. Probably going to do the same type of thing with him. Just wait it out. Uh, attack. I don't know what to do with you, buddy. I don't know what to do with you yet. Oh, I actually don't hate that. We'll move you there. There you go. That is a good play. Um, can't really do anything with you either, buddy. Guess we'll move you down here. You'll be able to attack across the way, and I think Darren can just chop this dude in half. Nope, he missed. A 91% miss. That's a bit impressive. Alright, 44%. No such luck. Alright, Tack is going to smack the shield wall. And then our two-hander is going to just back up once. Okay, we're going to wait our turn. And we're going to shield wall again and wait our turn. We're going to... I guess just close with this guy and shield wall again. We're going to try to hold the line here. Okay, he's just going to shield wall and attack, and that's going to come. Of, nothing's going to come of it, which is totally fine. We're going to attack there. We're going to attack there again. Oh, landing that shot. He jumped down. The spear wall is holding. Very nice. So our positioning is actually quite stellar at this point, which makes me super, super happy. And will we actually have enough to finish it? All right, now that was that was a risk that was definitely worth uh, leaving on the table. Okay, there we go. We just buffed everybody up on morale side of things. We'll take that. Paulson just chopped the dude in half. And will we get the kill? I think we got it. We don't. 40% chance and no such luck. Alright, we'll attack there and shield wall it up. And, ooh, jumped on our guy. Oh, and broke his armor. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, we're going to come forward and attack this guy. And he's not looking super good at this point. And I guess I'm going to have to go up here. We can't do an attack yet, but soon. Alright, we can do an attack now. We're going to try to chop right through him. He's armed with a, chi with a shield. We're going to try to behead him. Nope, no such luck. It's okay, we'll end our turn. We should be able to kill this guy off. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Alright, we're going to ignore his shield. 70% chance. Yeah, big plays, big plays. Do some work on this guy on the back end of play. There we go. And Tack says he's had enough. He's going to kill this guy straight up. He is done. We're going to once again... Oh, no. We're going to fire on our guy up top. Okay, he tried to retreat. Down he went. We're going to actually aim at the guy and take the shot. There we go. Alright, he's retreating. So it's literally just this guy. We're going to take the aim shot. Might hit our own guy. Nope. And both of them are retreating, so it's just cleanup now. And I can totally get behind cleanup, folks. Totally get behind it. And you're dead. Victory! We have defeated the enemy. We have one level up, two level ups, three level ups, four, five level ups. Sweet, sweet, nice. Darren got to do nothing. Paulson did a little choppy chop action. Sweet, sweet, nice. A little bit of damage. Eh. Overall, not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, let's see what we got for loot. Oh, big cash monies plus over a thousand. Over a freaking thousand for the actual mission. That is so good. That is so good. Well, I have to say, we are in a fantastic and phenomenal place right now. This is really, really, really good. I would have liked to have gotten some uh, tools from this, but hey, you know what? We have a decent supply of cash, and I am okay with this. We're going to pause right now. We're going to do our quick save, because we can. Alright, additionally, I'm going to return to Menarkin, then we're going to go to the castle, and we're going to hire someone, because we are going to be rolling in the cash monies at this point, folks. It is going to be so, so good for us. It's going to be so, so good. Alright. So, I feel like we are in a fantastic position. I hope I'm doing pretty darn good overall. I would say the developers would say, yeah, you're on the right path, my friend. I think they would be pretty proud with how I've handled things so far. Okay, well, we will buy out some provisions. We have 1,700 gold. That's actually, I think, more than I've had on my 
my solo playthrough. I've only had up to, I think, 1,300 gold. So, pretty excited by this. Now, there's a few different options I have. I can get one of the really expensive mercenaries, bring them in, and fill out the rest of our Battle Brothers with that. Or, I can go around and buy up some additional equipment and make ourselves just slightly more powerful than we once were. I'm leaning toward the first one, but I'm also really hesitant to do that because I like the second idea really good too. Make all of our people more powerful as opposed to getting one really powerful person. And then what if we get really unlucky with it? I mean, there's a lot of potential for disaster, folks. A lot of potential for disaster. We have a decent amount of equipment right now too. Huh. I don't know. We're going to go take a look at the castle. Well, I guess we can take a look at the Battle Brothers here. Oh, here we go. Sir Hildebrandt is an adventurous noble for 800. That might be okay. I think that might be what we do. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to hire it. I made up my mind. It's pretty quickly made up, but it's made up. And there it is. All right, so Sir Hildebrandt, we need to rename you, good sir. And since you're already Sir Hildebrandt, you're going to become... And I know somebody's going to be super excited by this. We're going to make you become, where are you? Sir Hercules. Hercules, um, the tanky. There we go. Sir Hercules the tanky is now on our squad. He's got a male coif. He's got a male shirt. He doesn't have as much skill as I thought he'd have. I thought he'd have a lot more melee skill, only at 52, which is kind of meh. His initiative is 50? Is that real? Huh. Like, that's not a... Oh, that's with uh, all the equipment thrown in. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. There's no way. Alright, let's see what his perks are here. He's a background, he's got a, he's an adventurous noble. He's got plus 15 resolve, plus 10 melee skill, plus 5 melee defense, but his range defense is garbage, okay. He's fat. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's fat, he's got plus 5 hit points, minus 15 maximum fatigue, and he's a brute, not one for delicate attacks. His character is, uh, he uses full force for additional damage. So whenever he hits on the head, he does additional damage. However, it lowers his melee skill, so... Eh. He kind of counterbalanced himself a little bit. He would have been better. I See, I was hoping he'd have like 70 or 80 melee skill. But he's a little bit weak right now. So what we're going to do with him is first we're going to steal the shield from him. Because we can do that. We're going to give him the big two-handed axe. He's going to be right up there with Paulson, the dev. And yeah, we're going to be looking really, really strong at this point. Additionally, who is going to get our shield? I, sen I think since you have the lighter armor right now, and you still get yourself into some trouble, let's give you the kite shield for now. And I think that's going to be pretty good. I like that. I like that. Alright, folks, our battle brothers are 12 strong now. I mean, they're not obviously all going to stay alive. <laughs> There's going to be that, that chance where we're going to walk up and they're going to use like a decapitation at 12% and cut off one of our heads, but... For now, we're 12 strong. We've only had one casualty. It was unfortunate, but we only had one casualty. And, yeah, we're looking pretty good. So let's get into the perks and see what's up. All right. Kaladin the Storm Blessed. We're going to go with melee skill, melee defense. You have 69 health. You are looking pretty good. We're going to give you a bit more maximum fatigue. Keep you going. I mean, we still have a thousand money, so we can get another, like, suit of armor, maybe. And probably roll out with that. Maybe, like, another medium helmet or something. But anything more than that, I think, is going to be risky. He does cost 20 per, so there is that. So a couple of our folks are actually pretty expensive. But, eh, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, so we get to go down into the next little bit here. And Kaladin the Stormblast, I think I'm going to make you the captain. I think. Yeah, you have 50 resolve, so yeah, we're going to do that. So basically, any allies within 5 range have their resolve increased by 20% of the captains. So we're going to make you the captain. So you are the captain of the squad now. Even though we have Odie the captain, you are the official captain. Well, based solely off of perks. Joachim Martier has leveled up once again, doing work. Up to 66 melee skill and 12 melee defense, which is sweet, sweet, nice. 
All right, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? 63 health is fine. We want you to have a little bit more initiative, so we'll do that. And you get a perk as well. I think what we're going to do with you is I'm going to reduce the... We're going to give you Weapon Master. All attacks cost 20% less fatigue to use, and weapons degrade half as fast. The reason that's really good for Spearmen is using Spear Wall as I do, they attack every time, right? So... This is going to help a lot. It's going to help a lot. It's going to make them actually viable for much longer. So that's also going to go on Kaladin eventually. But for now, we're just going to throw it on Joachim Martier. Kippy Kips leveling up again as well. We'll throw you some more melee skill. I'd like you to get a little bit more melee skill per turn, but that's okay. A little bit more melee defense. And I think the health on you needs to go up a bit more too. But instead of that, I'm going to give you some more resolve. There, you're at 40. That should be good for you for now. And we're going to go with the Executioner because we can. And there it is. Demagogly the Blind definitely needs to level up because your range skill is still pretty subpar. But it's okay. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to say, if we get an opportunity to get a really, really, really high-end ranged skilled guy, I'm probably going to end up dropping you. I'm sorry. You've served your purpose. I mean, don't get me wrong. And if anybody does get dropped... Don't get upset, folks. It's going to be for the good of the LP and the good of all. So please be aware that if I drop you, I don't hate you. I don't think you guys are terrible. It just it happened to be the character that you ended up playing was not, well, skilled enough. His starting stats are pretty bad, and we need somebody that's better for the long haul. So keep that in mind. All right, and Nessie's bro, Shock Ness Monster right here. Let's see here. The resolve is pretty terrible, but of course we're going to go with our normal stuff. And your HP is actually good. Your initiative is low. I want your initiative higher, and then we'll go with your resolve next. Okay, and you get to do the quick hands. There we go. I like that, and everybody has leveled up. We're looking real, real good at this point. I am super stoked to see what's next. Okay, we're going to leave. There are no more missions over here for us. We're going to go to the castle now. That is going to be our next play. And I think it's going to be a good play. Now, there should be a point where there's going to be a lot more roaming orc parties and stuff along the east coast. I mean, that's what I've run into anyway. And hopefully a few more bandit parties. And if we keep getting missions to slay dens at this point, I think we can actually handle it. Because, well, we're looking pretty darn good, I'm not going to lie. I mean, we have over a thousand gold still after buying somebody who was really expensive. And our provisions are looking well to do, plus our medicinal supplies, not so bad. Okay, we are here. Oh, we can still get a contract at night. Reach Duncanwald? Sure. We'll go there next and see what's there. Let's see who's available to hire. Eh, ooh, that guy actually already came with one of the uh, axes, which is pretty cool. He's a lumberjack, though. I feel like we made the right choice. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is wait for daytime. We're going to do some shopping. I'm probably going to spend a, a decent portion of our money here. And by a decent portion, like maybe maybe a little less than half. That's my goal. I'd like to spend a little less than half, if at all possible. Oh, wow, we just lost a big chunk of money. Like 300 is what I'm looking to spend. So if we can get that, it's dawn. Okay. And it's time to go take a look, and as always, well-stocked, well-stocked. Okay, wow, that's expensive. I'm not getting any more tools right now. Alright, so what do we need? Ooh, ooh a fighting axe. That's a one-handed one, but that is a sick-looking fighting axe. That looks really, really cool. Alright, and then the great sword. Pretty impressive. Alright, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Ooh, what to buy, what to buy. I think I'm going to buy some more padded leather. I'm going to buy some more padded leather, and I want to buy a helmet, but, I mean, the prices are pretty high. I realize we're probably getting overcharged on the padded leather. We'll buy a boar spear as well, make our spearmen a little bit more viable. We still have 601 left. That should allow us to move around a bit. I might buy... I might buy one of the... No, I'm not. I'm not. They're going to have to handle it. So for right now, we're going to throw that on you. And I think what we're going to do, since you are the captain right now, we're going to give you the, well, the broken padded leather. I don't know if that's really the best option there. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. And the spear, we're going to give you the new spear. And nobody else has a boar spear. Nobody else has a boar spear. 
Uh, we'll take a look in comparison. It's 8 maximum fatigue, and it does 30 to 40, whereas the regular spear, the militia spear, does 25 to 35. It's not a massive increase, but it is simply what it is, guys. The spearmen, like I said, the spear wall thing is a really, really good tool. When it works, it's great. When it doesn't work, the spears are only kind of meh equipment overall. So there will be there will come a time where I'm going to be so well outfitted that the spearmen might take a back seat. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, we're going to leave that. I guess that's that's where we're going to leave, and we're going to go over to Duncanwald, and we're going to hopefully be able to get there relatively easy. That's pretty far up there, but that's fine. Anything we see along the way, we will do battle and combat with. We should be able to make it there before the end of the episode. I will stop off at the Foothill Keep. I was going to call it the Foothall Keep, but that is totally incorrect. And once we're there, maybe we'll spend a little bit more of our cash monies. I mean, we have a decent supply, but don't get me wrong. It's going to cost us, what, 134 crowns per day. So we need to be constantly making money. And, oh, look at that. That is a gift. That is a gift. However, it being a gift and us having just given... Who did I give it to? Given Kaladin the padded leather armor, I think we're going to go back with the Gambeson for now because we don't want that to break. Or if he needs it, we don't want him to you know, get through the armor immediately and then start doing damage to him. I think everybody else is probably pretty okay. Nobody's weapon's about to break. Nobody's critically injured or super hurt. No, nope, I think we're pretty good. So we should be able to do some murderation on this. We're going to once again do a quick save here. And we might not make it to our destination just yet, but we're going to go out to the Bandit Hunters, which means these should be marksmen, so if we can engage, or, uh, sorry, close with them, we'll be in pretty good shape, but, ooh, they're going to have the high ground advantage on us, which is terrible, by the way. What I think we might try... We might try backing up and having to force them to come forward. We're probably going to get shot a few times first. Ugh. I'm hoping that they're not super well at aiming. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Ow. There's so many of them. Oh, This is exactly what I was talking about, folks. Marksmen are super risky to deal with. You've seen it. Oh my gosh. Stop shooting at me. Alright, we're backing up. What we're going to have to do is go and start hiding behind stuff and see if we can't get further away that way. Oh, this is going to be risky. This is going to be super risky. Alright, attack. I think we're going to send attack on... Probably on the kill mission. Most of our guys are still rock, walking around with padded surcoats on. It's not a great situation. So... We might try to out-snipe them. If they come onto the low ground, we might actually have an advantage against them. I'm going to try hiding Darren back here. And who is this? Okay, we're going to send you... We're going to have to backtrack and go around. We need them to get off the high ground. Once we do that, if we can accomplish that, we'll be in fairly decent position. So, we're going to take some very, very unwanted damage. It's going to be unfortunate, but it is simply what it is. And we're just going to have to deal with it. So, we're going to back up, and we're going to try very hard to get our folks into a position where they can actually do something. I think we're still going to be able to get shot at by most of the enemy. Alright, we're going to sit here, I guess, and that's going to be our far distance deal. We're going to go up here with him and hold it. And we need to make sure we're far enough back that they have to be on the flat plains if they want to close with us. Now, they might not take the bait. We have to get Kaladin the Stormblust out of the way. They might not take the bait. They might just say, forget it, I don't care. We're not doing that. Uh-uh. And if that's the case, well, it sucks, but it is simply what it is. Okay, so there we go. He can still fire on our heavily armored guy. That's not good. Alright, we need to back up more then with him. We'll wait with him. He needs to back up quite a bit further. If they're still able to shoot, they're like on a freaking ridge. I mean, how unfortunate are we that we didn't start... Why, we could have started on the high ground. That would have been great, but no, of course not. 
All right, so we really are going to have to be able to swoop around and close with these guys, and it's going to be tough. Gosh. All right, I'm going to go there. I think we're outside of his range still. All right, I'm going to go here. And you get to finally move. And I don't think that's far enough away. I think you're still going to get shot to pieces. Okay, well, we're going to still hide behind this tree, I guess. And we're going to wait and see what comes. So this is one of the more meh situations that we'll find ourselves in. The enemy archers on the high ground is never a good thing. We're going to shoot at the enemy marksmen and miss both times, apparently. Gonna wait our turn. It looks like they're gonna move up again, so it's starting to work. Just with those two. Now we should probably just all fall back. In fact, I think I will. I'm not gonna try to loop around and get those guys. So we're gonna sit here and I'm actually gonna continue to back up with Kaladin. I don't want Kaladin dying because I was too foolish. I can pin them both in right now, and that is super good. Alright, that means that we can come down here. Now, the problem is they can still move their other archers in and kind of wreck us. So, that's that's kind of a downside. It's a little bit of a downside. I feel like some of our archers still haven't moved yet. Okay, well, they had to move there. That was pretty good. So, going to... I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to hold the line right there. Alright, and we're going to back up further. Because our armor took a quite the pounding there. It was pretty unpleasant. I'm going to aim for 24%. Hopefully not hitting tack in the back. And we did not. And we're going to aim 37 again. Hoping. There we go. We landed both of those shots. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Come up over here. I might go back this way. Again, the whole plan is to get them to come forward far enough that they have to attack us. Or they have to close with us so we can actually pin them in and kill them. Alright, 24%. Don't hit tech. Oh, that was right right near your butt, man. Right near your butt. That was scary. That was pretty scary. And there we go. We got some wonderful, wonderful morale penalties for the enemy. And we're moving the enemy out right now. Still not quite enough to close with them, but we're getting there. Okay, we're going to just continue to back off. I don't think I can get there and actually do anything, so we're just going to back up with him. You, however, can move and get a stabby stabby poke poke action. There we go, 80%. Sweet, sweet damage. We're going to go here, 40% chance, and bam, down he goes. All right, we can back off again. And yeah, archers on the high ground. Not a fun thing to run against. Not a fun thing to run against. We're just going to wait our turns here. There's nothing else we can really do, and we're going to continue to back up and get away from the archers that are trying to murder our souls. And it looks like we're doing a fairly decent job at it right now. Alright, there we go. We are behind cover. And they will have to continue to try and close with us, and this will give us a chance to close back with them. The downside still being, we don't know where the remaining individuals are. We're going to keep our shield wall up and continue to backpedal. I can't close with him just yet, but close. I can almost close with him. Alright, what are we looking at here? You up top. Gets you to come down the middle. That's fine. Alright, it looks like we should have a shot, but we do not. Okay, we're going to wait it out. Probably going to come around the back side of this. Again, we're trying to come around the back side. This is not working. Okay, no such luck. I guess I'm just going to, uh, we'll wait. We'll wait our turn. We'll back up with you. Um, probably going to, probably going to back up with you as well. Make them close with our archers. And I think Tack can probably sit, like, right there. With the shield wall up, and he should be fine. And you might, nope, you still don't have the thing. Alright, so we're going to pass your turn going to probably just sit there with him and with him and I'm going to have to back you up. Sorry buddy. Okay and no shot and no shot. Alright what's next? Alright so they're continuing to move but they, they came forward and then backed up. I'm not sure why. Oh okay because they, they have a shot on him. 
All right, well, we're going to back up a little bit more, I suppose. And I suppose I could walk forward and shoot. We're just actually going to skip turns still. I'm going to play it safe. We're going to play it safe right now. And we're going to try to lure the archers into the trap. It's annoying when the archers do not move, and it does happen. I've had it before where the archers are like, absolutely not, I am not coming, I am not moving. Or creatures in general, not just archers, but just generally speaking, just creatures. So, yeah, wasn't super good. Wasn't super good. But, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. It's gonna be fine, let's see here. What are we going to do now? I guess we'll move you right there. And shield wall. Okay, we're going to take a look. Yeah, you're still there. You should be safe. We're just going to hold the line and shield wall with you. Attack and probably start lingering out toward the outskirts here. And we're just going to move you back a little bit further and then maybe up some. And then they have to go to the high ground there. If they get the high ground, it's going to be mildly annoying, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. Okay, we'll hold there, and what's next? Our archer. That's the new turn, too, so we're going to end the turn. He's going to move to the high ground. He should have a shot. We don't have the shot yet, but he should have the shot. Wherever the other random archer is at should have a shot, or should be moving around. I don't know where he's at, though. We're going to wait until this guy moves. Okay, he's going to move further away that way. That's fine, I guess. We're going to backpedal a bit more. I know, guys, it's not the most compelling way to do combat right now, but it's going to work, I feel. I feel like we're going to be okay. I feel like we're going to be just fine. Okay, I'm actually going to start trying to close with these guys now. And if it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, well, we try to close with them, so that's something, right? Paulson's going to try to close... We're going to have Joachim the Drunkard try to close as well. You are definitely not doing anything. You are going to try to close. You hear my dog scampering around in the background. She does that. She is a scamperer. I'm going to go hide behind a tree. The guy in heavy armor is like, nope, mm -mm, don't want to fight. It's all right. And we have no shot here. But we might actually get a shot if we move a little bit closer. So, there we go, and I guess we're going for broke on this, folks. Alright, looks like we still don't have the shot, but now we do. And we killed him in one shot. Oh, nasty. Nasty, nasty shot. Oh, he's going to move up. Oh, I think he done made a mistake. I think he done made a mistake. Nope, he didn't. I was wrong. He didn't make a mistake. He is determined, though. Let me tell you, he is absolutely 100% determined to do work against us. That's okay. All right, we're going to move a bit closer. We're going to try very, very much to close with these guys. And they should be feeling a little bit nervous at this point. I'm just saying, like, everything is closing in around them. They should not be super comfortable at this point. Like, we have folks everywhere. Okay, we're going to hold up up here, I suppose, since we can't change levels, I, I imagine. Okay, and can we pin him in? I think we can. Yeah, we can. Alright. And I guess we're going to come back out to play if we can. Oh, he clubbed us. Broke through our armor a little bit. We're going to get to the high ground here, and we have a shot that I don't want to take, so we're going to wait. Nope. And we have another shot here. Can we go that far? No. I don't want to take that shot either. Okay, you can kind of start doing some stuff. I mean, you can kind of get, like, there, I guess. And if for whatever reason he survives to the next one, well... Alright, gonna go for a shot here. And, oh, big hit. Big hit. Nice. And we can pin him in. Very, very good. So, there's very little threat now. I say this, that's not 100% true. There's much less of a threat. I mean, they can still obviously melee fight us, and there's always the chance they'll get a lucky hit and just murder us straight up. 
It doesn't happen too often, but the potential is always there for it to actually happen. So be aware of that, folks. Be aware of that. Okay, we are now close with him with two individuals, and it looks like Paulson's going to cut him in half. Oh, he's going to totally miss. Okay, so he didn't cut him in half. And can we cut him in half with Sir Hercules? I think we can. Nope, we can't. I'm totally wrong. It's, it's shameful, I realize. I realize, folks, it is a bit shameful. Just going to skip our archers. They weren't really super useful this time. All right, the clubbing's going to happen. Ouch. Okay, kind of expected that a little bit. There we go. Big hits. Big hits right across the the bow, I guess. The prow. I don't know. Oh, and decapitated. That means we get another padded surcoat into our repertoire. And we're going to smack him. Smack him. And eventually close with him. There we go. And he is going to attack back. Eh, a little bit of damage. Not that big of an issue. Stab, stab, and he should be pretty much broken and fleeing at this point, but he's not. This guy's pretty hardcore. I'll give him credit. He is holding the line rather impressively. And you know what? We're going to miss. Okay. Well, I figured I could take the shot, right? Okay, well, we're going to close with him some more if we can. And uh, we'll just skip. We'll skip the first four people. Kippy Kips already did some amazing work. And there's the kill, the victory, lots of damage done to us. Our armor held together, but not by much. And yeah, that was a bit crazy. It looks like we got three, three levels up. And it looks like we have some blood damage to heal up too, but we have plenty of medicinal supplies. Not going to be that big of a deal. And this episode is running really, really long. Ammunition, medicinal supplies, and some provisions. Additionally, we have... Some bows that will sell for a decent amount. Another padded surcoat we can use. I mean, overall, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, we'll take all that wonderful fat cash money's loots. And we're going to probably break off the episode here right now, in fact. I want to do one quick thing, because I'll probably forget if I don't. I want to take a look at all of our archery people. And I think you're still using a short bow. So you get to be upgraded to the long blow. Long blow? The long blow. The long bow, even though your skill kind of blows right now. It's okay. You'll get there eventually, and then we'll replace you, because, you know, that's what we do. We replace people who suck. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm actually not kidding. We will probably end up replacing you. Just saying, but hey, you know what? You brought us to the point where we're at right now. And there's something to be proud of. That is something to be super duper proud of. Alright, I'm going to continue moving toward the goal, and I'm going to break out the episode right here. This one ran quite a bit longer than I intended. 38 minutes. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode of Battle Brothers. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There will be plenty of Battle Brothers on this channel, guys. So keep it locked here if it is indeed what you enjoy. If you enjoy Battle Brothers, you want to see it played out, you want to see different strategy, tactics, and all sorts of weird things, I don't know how, I'm going to, how much I'm going to diversify, but I'm going to try a few different strategies. So hopefully you like what you see. And I will see you back in the very next episode. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.